I think the <clears throat> essence of being a writer is a sense of curiosity. And I don't care what the writer writes about. I think that writers are, generally speaking, curious people. They're interested in their subject, whatever that might be. When it comes to romance writers, I think that the big thing for them is emotions. That's what they're writing about most of the time. And not to say there's not adventure in the books, not to say there can't be uh, some other element that is that goes beyond human emotions, but in reality, that's the biggie. It is not just love, it's fear, it's uh, anger. All these different emotions are portrayed in a romance book. In my case, I'm interested very much in human emotions. I'm interested in people's stories. I, I um, listen very closely when someone starts to tell me their story of, of something about their life that they've experienced because not so much just because I'm going to use it, but just I'm, I'm interested. In the case of um, what I was thinking of talking about in this subject would be on this idea of loss, how we deal with loss the emotional reaction to it and the reality that I have seen in my friends and um, people that I've known that have um, losses there's it, it there are various ways of dealing with it and some literally <clears throat> never get past whatever they lost the the relationship they literally moan and groan over it for their whole life from that time on and some go right on. They, they, they loved somebody, they lost them. Now, it may be through death, it may be through divorce, there are lots of ways of losing someone, but whatever it is, they're able to let go and move on and find somebody else or, um, or something else. Now, I, I'm thinking historically, because it, it's kind of, this is on my mind, because I just uh, finished reading Elizabeth Custer's uh, memoir, talking about her life with George. It doesn't go into what happened after he died because it ends at the moment she finds out that he was killed at the Little Bighorn. But we know what she did, that she was a young woman at that time and a beautiful woman. If you've seen photos of her, she was a lovely woman. She was about 33. Um, she never found anybody else. And as far as I can tell, she never wanted to find anybody else. I don't know that she grieved over him all the rest of her life. I don't know that. But she did devote her life to getting his story out there so that he would be respected, so that he would not be um, remembered as someone who lost at the Little Big Horn, but instead someone who was brave and courageous and was trying to do the right thing. So, and another example that comes to my mind when I think about this is that uh, historically is uh, Queen Victoria. When her husband Albert died, which I think was in, when he was in his 40s, early 40s, he was not, not by any means an old man. Um, she had many, many years. She was a long, long time to be queen, and she never got over it. She grieved over him. Evidently, they say she kept a room that his room, so it would be there, like just like it had been. She just, her, her whole, um, the, the as queen, she basically lost a lot of what she would have been normally doing because she was so broken over this. And then you think of the people, and I can think of, you know, quite a few that I know, and I personally know people, some who lost their spouse due to death, some through divorce. And they've gone on, and they found somebody else, and they are happy in their next relationship. I don't know that they compare the two, just that they move on. Now, why? That's the emotional question. What makes us able to move on and to, um, to let go of what we lost? Or what makes us hold on? And keep it as an essence of ourselves. Of, you know, it becomes our persona. I don't know. You know, I do not know the answer to this. And it's something that interests me. And I can see how you could use it in a romance book. Not in the romance that you're writing about. But in one of the characters who's coming into this story. 
and has had this kind of a loss. Now, can they really let go of it when they're going into this new relationship with someone? Sometimes people literally can't and they will destroy the, the relationship that would be possibly the next one because they just can't let it go. And that's an emotional reaction to loss and I don't have an answer to what makes the difference. I do not think that it's like one group of people love more than the other. I don't think it's that. I don't know what it is but it interests me.